Welcome Junior Takis, my name is Mrs. Ramla. This video is on the section photosynthesis and this is an exam question video and here in this video we will be working on question 2. Before you do the question videos, please make sure you watch the theory videos, print the worksheet and have the memo with you at hand. Right. Question 2 has 5 parts from 2.1 to 2.5 and is 10 marks. Now, the following diagram illustrates some investigations carried out on photosynthesis. The plant was kept in the dark for 48 hours before being placed in sunlight. Study the diagram and answer the question below. So here this whole plant is exposed to different experiments. So if you look at leaf A, they are asking you what is the aim for the invest of the investigation on leaf A. Now here's leaf here in the bell jar. And immediately you can see there's potassium hydroxide. So you should know that potassium hydroxide is absorbing all the carbon dioxide. So leaf A, the investigation that is being performed here, and that's what the aim should be, is to investigate if carbon dioxide is needed or a requirement for photosynthesis. Leaf B, you can see there's a dark piece of paper on that leaf. So immediately some parts of the leaf is exposed to sunlight and some is not. So here, the aim will be to investigate if sunlight is a requirement for photosynthesis. Right. 2.2. Why was the plant kept in the dark for 48 hours before being placed in sunlight? The plant will always be kept in the dark for 48 hours to de-starch the plant. And that is to prove that the glucose that is produced will turn into starch and that photosynthesis actually took place. Okay. 2.3. Starch tests were carried out on the three leaves. Name the chemical reagent that was used to test for the presence of starch, and that is iodine solution. Right. 2.4. Tabulate the results of the tests on leaf A, B, and C. So there you have A. We already know what's going to happen. There's no chlor there's no carbon dioxide, so there'll be no photosynthesis. B, we know what will happen there as well, because some parts are exposed to sunlight and not, and leaf C is obviously exposed to sunlight. So let's look at the memo. You must have a table drawn with your column headings here, leaf sample, A, B, C, test results, and you must have a heading, a table of the results of the starch test of the three different leaves, A, B, and C. Now leaf A, we know there'll be no carbon dioxide, so the leaf will be yellowish brown, there'll be no positive test for starch. Leaf B, yellowish brown strip on the black leaf, right, on a black leaf. So the parts that are exposed to Sunlight will be black and the parts that's covered by the strip will be yellowish brown. And then of course leaf C is exposed to sunlight and that will be a positive test and the result will be bluish black. Right. So let's go to question 2.5. Give a reason for the result of the starch test on leaf A. Now they want to know why did the leaf turn yellowish brown. And the reason for that is you can see the potassium hydroxide, like I mentioned, absorbs the carbon dioxide. If there's no carbon dioxide, photosynthesis cannot take place. And so no starch will be produced. And so, of course, the test will be a negative test, which will be yellowish brown. Okay. Thank you for joining me and watching question two of for the photosynthesis exam questions. Join me and watch all my other videos as well.